Hey guys, okay, so we are back. <laughs> I uh, have a full face Friday coming up next Friday and it's been pushed back week after week after week, um, but we had some crazy stuff going on. My kids are off at a church function right now, so um, I got a few minutes finally to myself. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna say it's about time for a berry lip or a bold lip or something of that nature. I have been thinking about this for a while because during springtime, usually you won't see a lot of bold lips. It's usually like um, bronzy, summery, real warm kind of stuff. But the other day um, I was thinking about, I really need to do um, a berry lip. Um, this is my favorite berry lip. This is the, um, and mind you, <laughs> I don't try a lot of lip colors. I mostly try foundations and concealers, but this one is called Berry Recognize. It is the, um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is my favorite berry that I've ever tried. Uh, I don't try a lot, but uh, this is my favorite. <laughs> okay, so what we have on the face today is I've got the Sephora uh, Full Coverage Long Lasting Foundation mixed in with a little bit of the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation um, to kind of thin it down and make it less uh, chalky looking on my skin. Now both of these foundations are a good shade for me, but I, I'm i just white, you guys. So if my face is like glowing white, it's because I'm just that white, okay? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, pretty <sighs> taupey colored eye. Um, I'm gonna use this palette right here. It's the Happiness Looks Gorgeous On You palette from Ulta. I don't know if this might've been a free gift with purchase, but I'm gonna use a couple shades in here. And I was scrolling through YouTube like I do a lot. Um, and there was a thumbnail for a Brianna Fox video. Um, you guys may know who she is. I don't know very much about her. Um, so just take that for what you will. I did not watch the video, but I did study the thumbnail. And the thumbnail was a gorgeous berry colored lip, which I had been wanting to do, and then a beautiful like shimmery taupey eye. So we're gonna try to do that today. Good luck to me, right? So. Let's go ahead and get this on. I've already, I also used the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. This is in translucent, brightening is what this one is. So it's sort of a um, glowy powder, setting powder kind of thing. Now on camera, like I look like in some shots, I'm looking like my face is way whiter than my neck, but it's just really is pretty, it's a pretty good match. So I'm just really white. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this uh, pale pinky kind of shade and we're just gonna put that in the crease I studied that thumbnail it was so beautiful and um, she's really pretty anyway but the eye look was just so perfect with the the lip um, and I don't know um, if she's a makeup artist or what if she's just a makeup channel I mean obviously she must be an artist of some kind but I don't know if she's like a working makeup artist or anything like that I didn't check like her Instagram or anything I don't a lot of times I'll see something and I just don't look too far into it because <sighs> mommy ain't got time for that kind of stuff you know <laughs> um, that's why Pinterest eyes are so such a great fit for me because I can just see the picture look at it study it and I don't have to go into all meeting a new person you know introverts of the world. Can I get an amen? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and this, with this shade, which is called Mocha. The first shade was called Sweets. So this next one is called Mocha. And it's just a cool tone. This whole palette is pretty cool toned. So um, it's just a cool toned brown. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit. The eye was not the focus. Um, the lips were the focus. So. I am going to just try and tone that brown down. Just get this, I should probably should have switched brushes so it's a smaller blending brush, but you do what you gotta do. Or you do what you're gonna do, I guess. <laughs> Now this in no way means that I'm ready for summer to be over. I am not. 
Um, I feel like I didn't get, really get to enjoy my summer very much because it was just so hot. Like we got ridiculously hot here in the Midwest. Um, now, what I would really love to do is use this shade right here, but it is the weirdest um, texture. It almost feels like a cream, but you barely get any pigment off. And I tried to kind of like scrape the surface of it off because maybe I thought maybe it just needed the top scraped off and then it was going to work fine. And this would be the perfect shade because it's kind of a taupey, shimmery, uh, pinky taupe. Uh, but it's just not, it won't come off. It won't transfer to my eyes. So what I'm going to try to do, and we'll just see how well this works. Well, before I do that, before I put the shimmer on, I'm going to put a shimmer on. But before I do that, I think I'm going to use hmm, this uh, flat definer brush, AOA flat definer brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of the first shade, which is Sweets. Let me get a bit of the so I can see a little bit better. And yes, it's evening time now. So the lighting is different. Hopefully it's not giving you, it, hopefully it's not going to ruin everything, the lighting. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the mocha shade and just dab that around. And then I'm going to take another brush probably and blend that, smudge it a little bit. There's that. All right, so next up, I'm going to try to use this tinted eye primer um, from Ulta. It's like a free travel size gift with purchase kind of thing, but it's the perfect shade. It's exactly the shade that I want. I'll show you that shade right there. And um, I have used these before, not often, because I just, honestly, I just forget that I have them, but they're kind of a moussey texture, and uh, that's what we're looking for. So, um, I mean, as far as shade, that's the color we're looking for. So the only thing I don't know is if it's gonna ruin the other shadows that I placed on there before. I've had that happen with other products. Um, once you put a moist, more moist product over a dry powder, sometimes it can get weird. So let's just see. It seems to be working so far. It's not as shimmery as I would like, so I may look around and see what else I have. Now it's not as shimmery at all as what hers looked like, but I may look around in just a second and see if I can find something to put over top of that. And I'm going to take my first blending brush if I can find it. Where did I put that thing? Mm. so it's not so choppy looking. This one's fine, this one got a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of weird this, it's almost like the shimmer doesn't stick around. So this is what we want it to look like, but this is what it is looking like, which in my opinion, not that shimmery. So I think I'm gonna take a shade that I have, a Bare Minerals Loose Pigment. What are they called? Are they called pigments? Do you guys know? Um, if I can find it. This will be the last one I pick up. No, this one called Nude Beach. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. I'd actually like it to be just a tad darker, but you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Am I right, ladies? Okay. So I'm just gonna pick it up on a flat brush like this. This is absolutely, the one thing I do not like about loose powder um, shadows is that I'm, I'm gonna make a mess with it, you know what I mean? It's gonna spill somewhere, especially the way I have to store them, so. Okay, that is precisely what I was looking for. So I feel like that base, that eye primer, it's really like a primer, was pretty unnecessary. Okay, 
and I'm going to take, let's see if I've got a fluffy brush around here. This is a little bit too big. I guess I'll just have to take that this small one that I was using earlier. This is the Morphe M506 brush. It's like the smallest blending brush that's still really fluffy. I'm gonna put a little bit of that same taupey shimmery shade right in here. Okay, so we're pretty shiny. Let's, I'm gonna take, this is the concealer brush I used earlier. It is the High Definition Brush E102 from AOA. I'm just going to kind of dab it right there because I feel like that's really light reflecty right now. Okay, so let's grab some mascara. I'd really try to make this, we're already up to 11 minutes. I was trying to make this not so long, but uh, no luck at all. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I think, uh, I don't know. I wish I knew how to speed up the the video like a fast forward it, you know. But I just don't. If you want to watch the whole thing quickly, just put uh, the times two speed on your on your playback, and it'll give you the same effect, you know. Okay, one thing I do like about this wand is it it really wants to get all my lashes I really like that even the ones like I feel like I don't get these outer corner ones especially on the lower lash line as well but this one just grabs it for me like I don't have to try very hard so that's really nice okay so let's go ahead and do some I'm gonna actually do some bronzer today because I feel like her look was like bronzed a little bit or contoured or whatever so you know what in fact I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my contour palette I'm not a contouring girl you guys know that so hopefully this doesn't ruin the whole look like it really wasn't about face at all it was really about the lips but we're just gonna do this anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade right here because I think that would work out for a contour shade for me I'm gonna go ahead and use my Victoria's Secret fluffy powder brush for that This is like the perfect shape to get into that hollow without making it like a stripe. I'm going in really light handed with this, mostly because I'm just not a contouring girl. The good news is that it's evening time and I I'm not going anywhere else you know what I mean all right so let's do a blush and since we're doing a berry lip I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this really light-handed I think it is a baked blusher from Revolution Makeup Revolution London bang bang you're dead is the shade I don't know if this is available it came with a free gift with purchase from Ulta and I'm gonna go in really light-handed with this. It is very shimmery. Let me give you a bit of a, see how shimmery that is? So I don't think I'll need a highlight with this. It really does blend really well though. I like, um, blushes where I don't have to work too hard, but I can also build it up if I need to. So we've got 
a pretty good glow going on right there. I am going to take, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and blend over that. All right, let me go ahead and do some brows. We're just about done. Like I could use a little bit more smokiness around my eye, but it's not about the eyes today, ladies. It is about the lip. So that's what we're doing. Every time I'm going to do a liquid lipstick, I do a, I prep my lips with a gloss, but sometimes when I wipe it off, like all the tissue fuzz sticks to it. So that's not cool. So good. We're good. And we're going to go ahead and get this on. I haven't worn this since last year. <laughs> or it might have been early this year. I can't remember. Anyway, since it was cold. I'm going to overline like the tiniest bit. On my upper lips because I have hyperpigmentation that I want to cover up. I don't usually like to see like the rim of my lips like that. So I bring it in further than what maybe I normally would with a gloss or a regular lipstick. So this is very similar. I feel like my edge of my lip is like the weirdest. Okay. This is very similar to what she had, but I feel like the lip was glossy. Um, it was really beautiful. So I think I'm gonna take this gloss right here. This is called Stunner. I have never popped, cracked open this gloss. It's like a purpley. It was glossy, but it was almost like a silvery gloss. I think I'm also going to put maybe a dab of this. This is the ice flavored lip gloss um, from Victoria's Secret. I think my angle is weird on this thing too. <laughs> well, everything just fell down. Can I get anything right? I don't think so. Yeah. It wasn't exactly like this, but it, this is pretty close. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, I am always looking for new subscribers. <laughs> so don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.